70% of the beads in the box were red beads and the rest were pink beads. After 36 red and 36 pink beads were added to the box, the number of pink beads became 60% of the number of red beads. How many red beads were there in the box at first? Keywords in this question, 36 red, 36 pink equal number of each of the beads added into the box, which means the difference between these two beads must remain the same. Okay, so first step, to make our lives easier, we can change the percentage into a fraction. Okay, so 7 over 10 of the beads were red beads. So 7 is red out of a total of 10. Okay, which means the pink one will be 10 minus 7. It will be 3 units. Okay, now and then you add an equal number, which means that um, the difference between the red and the pink, right, in the before and after case must remain same. Okay, after you added those beads, the number of pink beads became 60% of the number of red. So 60% again, we change to a fraction. 3 out of 5, okay? So pink became 3 out of 5 of the number of red beads. So red will become 5. Find the number of red beads in the box at first. So we can draw a BCA table or we can write some ratios for ourselves. So red is to pink is to the difference. So this will be 7 is to 3. Difference will be 4. How do you get 4? 7 minus 3 is equals to 4. This is the before case. In the after case, in the after case, what happened was pink is 3 parts. Red is 5 parts. So pink is 3 parts. Pink is 3 parts. Red is 5 parts. The difference is 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay, ensure that the difference is made the same. So we times 2 throughout. Ah, as you can see, red has increased by 3 units. Pink also by 3 units. Huh? From 7 became 10. So 10 minus 7 is 3 units. That 3 units is really because of the 36 bits, right? That were added. So 1 unit can be found. 36 divided by 3. Chop. So the question is how many red bits were there in the box at first? That would be 7 units. Chop times 7. To give us a final answer of 84 red beats at the start.